As the polls closed late night Tuesday for Kadima's party primaries election, it was announced. Shaul Mufaz defeated Sipi Livni, who served as Kadima chairwoman and head of the opposition during this current Israeli government. This was not the first round for Livni and Mufaz to compete against each other. Only three years ago, in the previous 2008 Kadima primaries election, Livni beat Mufaz, and now it seems that the tables have turned. Just recently, Livni was named one of Newsweek magazine's 150 women who shake the world. Today, it appears, it is her political career that was shaken up. A smaller number than expected of Kadima members showed up to vote, with about 62% of them choosing Mofaz, as opposed to about 38% voter support for Livni, who was seeking re-election. Livni served as the first female opposition leader in Israel's history, and was involved in several key roles in Israel's governments. As foreign minister in Ehud Olmert's government, she was chief negotiator in the peace talks with the Palestinians supporting a two-state solution to the conflict. As Mufaz made his victory speech, he called upon Livni to stay on board. You belong with us, he said, inviting her to be part of his leadership. However, it's quite questionable if Livni will choose to do so. In fact, sources close to the former Kadima leader say she may now retire from politics altogether. Livni thanked her supporters and announced to reporters that she has phoned Mufaz to congratulate him on his victory. Shaul Mufaz, who has served as chief of the Israeli military, as defense minister and transportation minister in Ariel Sharon's government, has now emerged as the leader of the largest party in the Israeli parliament. But winning Kadima's primaries is just one step along the way. The bigger challenge for Mufaz will be to compete in Israel's general elections against Benjamin Netanyahu, who has already called to praise him for his triumph. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.